I'm so passionate about food and about the violence of hunger because I've experienced it. I truly believe that 70% of the problems in the world that we have, particularly ones affecting my community, are centered and surrounded around food. And if people had access to food, quality food, a lot of the problems in which that we experience would dwindle down exponentially. I'm Johnny Rhodes. I'm an agricultural entrepreneur from Houston, Texas. Cooking became my passion when I was in high school and I couldn't stay out of trouble. And my mom put me on punishment and the only communication I had with my friends was selling them Frito Pies out of my window. So I went from Frito Pies into a more intricate dining. I decided I was ready to open up my own space my first day at culinary school. After working through culinary school and working in several other high profile restaurants, I wanted to stay in my neighborhood, in my area, in my community uh, because there's so many different things that you don't see or you don't dream about. So my vision for what became Indigo was that the history of soul food has always been made from leftovers and scraps and have always told the stories of our abuse of history in slavery. But there's a very beautiful story of survival there that I felt that really truly needed to be told. And that story, it didn't end with civil rights, it didn't end with the Emancipation Proclamation. It's something that's ongoing. The matter of the fact is that the quality of food is what really determines your quality of life. And I wanted to showcase that for people in my community that hadn't seen it before. Because prior to me going into the culinary world, I hadn't experienced it myself. We started off Indigo borrowing money from a few friends that I served with, and they believed in me. We were able to execute at a high level, strategically fund ourselves. And with that, we became our own investors. And we asked the people that already believed in us to believe in us just a little bit more. And them doing so, we took our entire restaurant concept and turned it into a farm titled Food Fight Farms, which is essentially fighting food apartheid, fighting agricultural oppression, and using that as a beacon and example that we shouldn't measure our lives by square feet, but we should measure it by acres. Everybody should own land and you should produce food for yourselves. Houston is the perfect city. When we think about food, so many of us don't value it. I grew up in Houston where there's a hurricane every 30 minutes. And every hurricane, everybody is so willing to help each other. With Houston being that way, it shouldn't have to come to a hurricane or to natural disasters for us to be more leaning towards exercising our privilege to help each other out on a daily basis. For us, it should be from the agriculture and food world. The grocery store, I titled it Broham Fine Soul Food and Groceries. The term Broham was created by African-American soldiers during Vietnam. Those, of course, are not only my brothers in arms, but also uh, my brothers in the culture, because I wanted it to really focus and let people in our community know that this is a cultural-based grocery store. Southern food or comfort food, that food all comes from us, and I wanted to make sure that I gave credit to our community for those cultural influences in our grocery store. I'm not done with being a chef because I still chef all of our products. Our products are made by chefs and not machines. But now I get to prepare high quality food and get it to all kinds of people, not just people that have big purses and big wallets. We're coming, we're on the way. And quality food will be restored in our community.